Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another day's video. Darren, how's it going today? I'm making lunch, I'm having a break because the stress is making my head pound. Jesus. Right, what's been going on today? I hope you can hear me over our rocket launcher of a kettle. But um, yeah, today has been a whale of a time so far. Jesus. Hitting up some oil on my friggin' Frank the Beast, mother trucker. I'm going to have to, I probably can't cook and vlog at the same time to be honest, I'm a bit shit. Well, I got up this morning. Um, reluctantly, I went to bed way too late last night by the time I finally got to sleep. Um, got up, got to, woke up very reluctantly um, and started getting ready and stuff. And since then, I sorted out the video very slowly, had breakfast slowly ish, and I have started on our programming. I've been going through all of the things that I need to know, all of the things I need to plan out and stuff. Um, don't stick, you bastards. Uh, all of the things that I need to plan out for my uh, thing, I've now I'm wiped the whiteboard, I'm ready to rock and roll basically. Uh, I've also tried on my suit for tomorrow, ironed, the sh ironed my shirt, I swear that's the first time I've ever ironed something. So, there we go, that's crazy. Otherwise, I just wear things that are just skin tight. So you don't need to, skinny jeans, never have to friggin iron them bastards. Neither like any of my thin uh, t-shirts, anything that needs potentially ironing is um, stuff like these polo shirts which potentially do need ironing a little bit but, 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 but very rarely do because of like the way that I wear them and the way that I look after them once they've been washed and stuff. So yeah, they've got it all. Oh, I just hit my fur. Uh, so I've got my suit ready, it's all there. My shirt's ready and ironed. My pointy, pointy shoes are out instead of my thingies. I figured out what kind of shoes it is I want in my life. It's winkle pickers. That's what they're called. Look, look at the difference, look, between that and that. That's winkle picker style. They don't friggin' make them anymore, I was just googling them. So that's what I'm looking for next, is a pair of winkle pickers. Some nice winkle pickers. Because I like sh wearing shoes all the time. Now, so the next pair of shoes I buy won't be Converse or anything like that. It'll be winkle pickers that I can swap. But yeah, friggin' love winkle pickers. Anyway, um, I just had lunch now, feeling a bit better. A bit more, less, less de-stressed and stuff. Uh, otherwise though, I've been going through some prologue coursework, um, I've started programming it and going through like the spec and stuff, deciding like what it wants me to do and things, and I've just started to like make my way, make my way downtown, figuring out exactly what I need to do, and I had to write, um, well, I think I have to write these things, which are all the possible answers and stuff. Uh, I've got to save them into a list so that I can then like shuffle down the list and figure out exactly what it is that I need at each point. Um, so, what I've done is by going through all this, I had to write every number between 3 and 98. So instead of doing that, I just wrote a program for me the, in a different language and then covered and pasted it in like a beast because I'm lazy. Normally, computer scientists, you'll find out, are very lazy. And if there's a shortcut, we'll use it. So I literally went into Visual Basics and uh, programmed a button that will change, like create this amount of text in a loop for me. Which was a lot quicker than having to sit there going one comma two well three comma four comma five comma nah mate it took way too long otherwise i'd do it in excel if i didn't have to do that um yeah lives of easy ways of cheating but i was doing that then i got an email from that placement i was talking about yesterday the one in plymouth um the one that's going to be a massive bitch to get to and it was a kind of a stress fest because the uh, like available things were um 12 till 2 or 2 till 4 basically and that meant I wouldn't be able to get back from work, get back from work. So I had a bit of a stress fest. Had a look around, phoned um, car hire companies who wouldn't hire some hire a car to a 20 year old if they weren't insure me. Um, there I looked at coaches, looked at times, looked at hotels for the night before, and then I rang Dad. Went upstairs to do to talk to Ben, and then decided that the only possible route was to ring work and shuffle around my hours. I was going to. I've got holiday booked for tonight. I was going to shuffle my holiday from tonight onto that day, so that I can then just come back on whatever train. But he says, no, it's fine, uh, we'll talk about it on Saturday. I'm like, oh, okay. Sweet. Cool. So, he's going to shuffle my hours onto another day that week, he says. So, that's pretty good. I haven't bought my train tickets yet. It's £40. I've been literally being wrung dry this month. It's mental. Um, 40 quid it's going to cost uh, to get there and back. Um, hopefully they can cover that cost. Hopefully they cover the one to Bristol as well. It was a tenner. It's still a tenner. It's friggin' poor almost. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, so yeah. Otherwise though, 
I'd now like to semi relax down for a bit now. I've got a two hour gap between before Sean's going to bug me to play a game. So let's get on with some programming, shall we? Let's get on with it, motherfucker. And time jump from when? Right then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it today. It's only nine o'clock, but I want to get this video up tomorrow. So I'm going to uh, finish it and render it and then upload it now. Um, basically, left on my to-do list is just stuff to prepare for tomorrow. I've uh, got £40 out of the bank to pay for taxis and stuff. Um, I assume it's not going to be that cost. Uh, it's the 13, it's 13 minutes drive away from the parkway, so it's not going to cost me 40 quid. But I've got that money out and away, and any money I don't spend, I've got to get taxi there and back. So any money I don't spend um, can go on food shopping. Um, yay! <laughs> Living the dream. But otherwise, yeah, I'm as ready as I am, um, uh, as I think I can ever be. Bring it on, mother... I'm taking my, I'm taking like a bag with like a couple of toiletries in, like I have to shave and some hair gel just in case it's wet outside, um, and shit like that. Um, great. Uh, and deodorant and stuff, but otherwise, we're ready, we're ready for this shit. It's going to be fun. I'm going to look forward to it. I'm going to bring it on. I'm going to take it with me as much as possible. I'm going to put you on charge, just in case. Uh, I'm going to take my phone charger, um, just in case. Take my laptop, I'm thinking, which actually does need to go on charge now. Um, just in case. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to need. I'm going to take my laptop and like my notepad and stuff and stuff and stuff. So we'll see. Um, otherwise, though, that's about all. Not much exciting, unfortunately. Just getting ready. So I'm going to catch you later.